Petrov's defense, classical attack, Chigorin variation, 8, bg49.c4. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. d4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. It is best. d5 takes space in the center, defends the knight on e4 and controls the c4 square. It is best. bd3 develops the bishop, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. It is best. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. 1 rupee puts the rook on a central file and adds an attacker to the knight on e4. It is good. bg4 develops the bishop and pins the knight. It is best. c4 gains space in the center, attacks the defender of the e4 knight and prepares to develop the knight behind the c-pawn. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to win a pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This exposes an attack on a knight while also checking the king. It is best. This forces the checking bishop to move away due to a pawn kick. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to connect rooks. This permits the opponent to capture the checking knight. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. 
This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a fork piece threat. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This threatens to win a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This prevents the adversary from being able to capture a knight. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This strikes a rival knight. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This avoids the knight's check. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the knight's check. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. 
it is ideal. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.